All right, so this is my review for the ISTA CO2 reactor, uh, the turbo version. Uh, I know they have a max mix, but this is not that. This is the turbo version. I wasn't able to find any reviews on YouTube, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, so this is the box of what it looks like. Uh, it's an ISTA. Uh, I guess it comes from Korea or Taiwan or somewhere, not sure. Uh, so yeah, it has some instructions on the side. But um, I did my homework on how to hook this up beforehand. So I basically have my uh, CO2 and regulator and bubble counter doing about four bubbles per second. And I'm going to test to make sure that that's not too much because I know you're supposed to use less when you use one of these things. But I got my eye on the, uh, the drop checker over there. Not quite lime green yet. It's getting there. Um, before I was using this diffuser from a Fluval, I was using this thing, which worked pretty well, but the tank looked like 7-Up. And it took all 8 hours of light for the drop checker to turn lime green. It would stay blue the whole time. Uh, so I have this thing. Uh, if you look down here, it's a, little, it's a little intrusive, but when you look at the whole tank, it's really not that much, especially if you can grow some plants in front of it, um, which hopefully I will. I got a couple of these current satellites sitting on top. They don't carpet. They don't help carpet very well. Uh, I've been trying to grow these for a while, and I even dropped the the wire down. You know, so it's another half inch. So hopefully this will have them carpet when they have eight or nine hours of CO2 saturation, whereas before maybe they only had one or two hours a day. You know, by the end of the day, it finally saturated. Uh, so basically, I run from this is a cobalt. MJ900. I don't know if you can see. Uh, they're kind of all blurry. And Cobalt MJ900. So I have that running with the old tubing from my gravel vac, uh, an Aquion, you know, that goes to the sink. I had a whole bunch of extra. Uh, so that runs in into this chamber here and pushes this this wheel. Uh, so the CO2 goes down all the four bubbles per second and the wheel breaks up all the bubbles into the water and pushes it down underneath and goes back up out of the top and then I have the top running into the tank and I use some old diffuser uh, spray bar with it so it doesn't come out too fast and I have it pointed downwards and uh, fish are doing pretty well um, it makes a little bit of noise. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll be quiet for a second. That's the only noise that comes from my canister. You know, my canister is silent. Everything else is silent. It's the only thing that makes noise, but it's, it's very low. You can barely hear it. In fact, if you have the TV on or an air conditioner or a fan on, you'll never hear this. Very quiet. Um, hopefully it'll, you know, help me grow, but the setup was really easy. Uh, definitely wouldn't give any negative marks to it. Um, I've heard reviews that the you know the CO2 uh, connection breaks off and these aren't very tight but I mean first time I hooked them right up I put the uh, the washers right over them and it was a perfect fit I even turned it upside down uh, that's how you have to get this thing started even when you fill it with water you have to turn it completely upside down and all the air bubbles come out none of this leaked not a drop um, so I was real lucky um, but I guess it's because it's well made um, so I'd recommend this it's only about 35 bucks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on where you shop. Uh, so you got to get this in tandem with the MJ900. Uh, it has to do with the gallons per minute that the MJ, MJ900 pumps out. Um, you look at the specs for this reactor, it takes a certain, you know, a minimum and maximum. This, this pump MJ900 is just under the maximum. Um, and as you can see, or, or maybe not, all the bubbles stay at the top. None of these even make it to the bottom. Maybe a one or two if you look really hard. But it's really nice. Um, pretty stays pretty hidden, except for that gigantic tube. It's really not that bad. You don't really notice it. Um, this is a 55-gallon tank. So if you have a bigger tank than this, it's going to be even less noticeable, especially if you put plants over it. Or if you're really good with plumbing and can figure out a way to get some plastic tubes over this thing and connectors, you can really go to town. I'm just really lazy and uh, just wanted to get this thing up and running tonight, so maybe I'll do something later. Uh, but that's it. Hope you enjoy the review.